Ayo. What's up? Uh, welcome to the Yak. Since you guys can hear us, that means we are in New York City. <laughs> uh, little bare bones of a crew. Me, Kyle, Little Sasquatch, Tommy Smokes. All right. Presented by Roback, the Yak. We don't have our papers, but you guys know the drill. Roback head to toe always. Francis, what do you like about Roback? Uh, I like how lightweight it feels mm -hmm. and how the fabric moves with you through a golf swing. It moves with you, not a against you like a lot of other. There's no restriction. It makes you look lean and athletic. It's very moisture wicking and absolutely sleek and beautiful. I went on a golf weekend a few weeks ago, wore Roback for both rounds. Everybody in the group was wearing Roback. I got to go golfing tomorrow for the Frankie's thing. I'm going to wear some Roback head yeah, to toe. As you should. Yeah. Are you doing that finally? Oh, the fucking socks. Finally. It's like on its fifth episode. That was the most demeaning. I know. <laughs> no, Sass was well, I mean, blowing that's Frankie That's not why off. I meant that. Wow. Yeah, he's been he's been talking about doing it for well, a while. I wasn't while. blowing him off. We just never could find a date that worked. I, I put them two in a group chat. Anyways, use code yak, Roback.com. Have you talked to uh, Frankie? Purchase. Before? Yeah. Yes. I don't even have Frankie's phone number. <laughs> I didn't have it. He texted me. People think you're really good. I texted you. I'm not. I told them. I was like, dude, I haven't played golf in like five years. They think you're good because of you saying that you're good. Yeah, you say it all the time. All the time. I that said, and fishing. Make you go out of your yeah, way. Definitely. Prodigy. I think I said I could beat both of them easily too, he, which I can't. No, not even no chance. Close. Yeah. I golf every single day. Your confidence has to be at an all-time high though. No. What happened at these shows this weekend? Oh yeah, the shows were fun. Yeah. You had a special guest. Yeah, Shane did. Shane did the shows. That's insane. It was cool. It was, uh, he did Thursday. I felt bad for the people that came on Friday because I hope they weren't expecting him to be there. But who was, ex no one could have been expecting on the first No, I didn't space. Did it say special guests? No, I think poster. I said something on Son of a Boy Dad, but no. Did he go anything. before you or after you? Before. Right before, and I told him to do. How I, was the, how was the pop for you after? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So wait, the crowd does the crowd went crazy when he comes out. Yeah, like, dude, you were just like a post credit Marvel yeah. movie. I, I told him to do after. I was like, can you please go after? And he oh, like, he went no. before you. Yeah, he was like, no, I'm going before you. He was like, you have to be able to go up after me. Yeah, he, that's yeah. really cool of him. Sass is the headliner. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, and then he was like, dude, Rogan did 30 minutes before me in Vegas. And I'm like, dude, the difference between Rogan going before you and me and you going before me is not even close to the same thing. Is he like saying Rogan is? So he was much like, he was like, I had to follow Rogan that you could follow me. I'm like, not even remotely close. I would think people would rather, much rather, see Gillis than Rogan. I would. Was Vegas yeah. on like a on a stand up? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the pop, the pop was insane. Yeah, I can't even tell if I'm talking into this thing because it's fucking all the way over here but uh yeah it was nuts it was wild that's fucking awesome sure it was for you too. yeah shout out to tyler from wheeling he went all the way to oh really to see you mm -hmm. him and his wife fuck yeah yeah it was he fun. dm both me and kyle his yeah. wife loves you his wife has a yeah. huge crush on Meet you her? no i didn't meet a lot of people he's handsome as well he is you finagle away into that yeah. group yeah, totally. Yeah, that'll be a fun thing. <laughs> if it's you good, would, you it's know. good that Shane came because uh, then the people who spent so much to, for the tickets got, <laughs> got their money for it. <laughs> and your tickets are so expensive. They're literally oh, much so much. They are, dude. They're so tickets much. Are the same, dude. I don't oh. even control the prices. How Helium much for those the prices? Twenty five dollars. Oh, so, <laughs> but the then, standard price. Oh, but then there's like tw there's so much taxes and fees. The fees for Francis, his Francis, his shows. Your tickets yeah. are the same price. Your, are. Fees are, your fees are insane. <laughs> Oh, I, don't, I, don't I heard control. about your fees. I could buy twenty. I don't I control could buy any five percent of, of a dozen ticket with that price. <laughs> and then a lot of the time, Sass will say, "If you pay another twenty-five dollars, you'll do the meet and greet." But then he doesn't come out for the meet and greet, and then he puts up like a tweet saying there was a family emergency. But he was just in the green room, not doing anything. I you don't do a do meet or greet. They have they to try to make me. They they all. Everyone wants me to do meet and greets, and they want me to do merch. And I'm like, I don't want to do any of that. What kind of merch would it be? I don't know, but I'm like, I'm already. They're already spending. This is fucking insane. This is gonna drive me nuts. Yeah, they're spending so much on the tickets. Over. Yeah, I might have to. But uh, I like. I don't. I don't. They're all already spending. So money like, to come to the show. Spending so gonna, much. Would a VIP ticket be like a SAS T-shirt and a meet and greet with the man himself? <laughs> I don't know. I'm never gonna do that. Get the mortgage your fucking house for that. Yeah, I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> That's also the thing. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I'll take a picture with you if you pay me. It's fucking insane. That is the essence of a meet and greet, right? Yeah, I'll yeah. just take a picture with someone if they want a picture. <laughs> it's it's the most extreme version of uh, I'm not book smart, but I'm street smart. Yeah. yeah. 
I definitely said that when I was younger. Yeah, you said you weren't a good test taker. Yeah, just tests aren't my strength. And that's all of school. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't have any strength. They, they they all thought they were gonna be like the next Mark Zuckerberg. They're like, oh, like Mark Zuckerberg dropped out of college. Like I don't need school. It's like Mark Zuckerberg was in fucking Harvard. Yeah, you can't yeah, do like that exam you can't do. He dropped out. So a billionaire when he was 19 years <laughs> he old. Dropped out because yeah. Peter Thiel gave him a fucking angel investment of however many millions of dollars it is. It's like the writing was on the wall. Right. Staying at school would have hindered him. Yeah. Same with Bill Gates. Same with Matt Damon. Matt Damon had just fucking been nominated for the or won the Oscar for best screenplay for Goodwill Hunting. What school was he in? Harvard. He was in Harvard as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was. Damn. Natalie Portman was in fucking Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> are you, you there? How far down the list of notable alumni are you on the Harvard page? I'm not on the list. Mm-hmm. You're not on the page. <laughs> I'm not on the page. It's got to be like there's got to be. Can like, we pull up the wiki. How many that? are on the page? That's got to be like lot. the notable Thousand alumni. People. It's a lot. I got re- I got removed from my high schools. <laughs> think, think a lot yeah, of presidents and a lot of Supreme Court justices and a lot of actors and. People you wouldn't even... BJ Novak went there. Fucking uh, Darren Aronofsky went there. Some really random people. Oh, so it's its own... Oh, my God. Yeah, you're fucked, man. Yeah, I have, I have shouldn't a long have gone way. there. I'll have to do something horrific to get on this list. <laughs> I mean, you, I'm going to... Do bring... you have a Wikipedia page? I don't think so. Are you on the your high school's notable alumni? Fuck no. Do you think you're one of the top 10,000 most notable Harvard alumni? Probably not. I feel like you got it. 1636 when they started the school. No, because there's probably so many dudes who are just like business fucking running some empire. I mean, there's no princesses and not, princes here. Yeah, when, I went to my, when I went to my five-year reunion, I sat at a table that was very clearly the failures. <laughs> it was like me and then a handful of people who were battling addiction. <laughs> This is Harvard's five-year reunion. What kind like of what were what, were what were they addicted to? <laughs> Pills. Okay. Fucking any name it. it. They they were having a hard time, but I bet you they overcame it and wrote a bestseller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe. Oh my God. Are they embarrassed of you? They don't. I don't factor. I'm not on anyone's radar. Hmm. I am irrelevant. They don't even hit me up for fundraising. What if you anymore. did a, a like a, a, a set there, a show? What would it sell? At at Harvard? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't know if do we if we have any Harvard listeners, and we're that's Boston. There's got to be. I don't know. Ooh. I've never met one or Maybe even like heard about school one. or MIT. I will say that I got MIT, asked. No I got way. asked to come back and speak on a panel um, to the men's and women's lacrosse teams, which was kind of fun. It was like a career panel. Okay. And they had me, and then there was like a dentist, a computer scientist, and uh, someone who worked in finance, and like a doctor. And we all they were asking. They did, did a Q and A, and they were like asking us questions, and I was just doing like I was just telling jokes, pretty much. Being really, on a panel would be a blast. It's fun. Yeah. Were you killing? Dream. Your dream. Yeah, I crushed. I. Yeah. Um, I said something, they were like, what, you know, one by one, tell us your, your favorite, uh, your favorite memory of playing lacrosse at Harvard. And someone was like, the year that I got to play with my sister, someone was like scoring a winning goal against fucking Princeton or whatever and got to me and I was like showers easily. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I used to play this game where I would cover my eyes and see if I could identify the person just based on their penis. <laughs> and I got very good at it. Yeah, you could do it by you could do it by just no, no, like just you cover only your eyes? only looking at their dick down. Oh, got it. Looking at their you dick. Did cover I know your who, eyes in such a way? Did I know who it was? Yeah, because you don't want to see their top half. That's the yeah, the way you were covering them just now. Looked like you couldn't see anything. Well, you were ste- you were stealing pee. I guess you, you're right, Tommy. It's like I'm shading my eyes. Yeah. So top down. Yeah, because you. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. you I said that to the whole panel, and then th- that's when they took the mic away from me. But the crowd, the whole room, men and women were all laughing hysterically, which was good. What What's the bone the pick you have to pick with your high school, Kyle? How are you looking at me? Like no, that? nothing, nothing. The, this will sound bad. You're crinkling the hacky sack. Do you want to stand up and fucking hacky sack? Yes. Uh, Piper appreciated you coming over to feed her so much. <laughs> and Harry, she was purring. Oh, my God. I would, and thank you for the video, too. That meant oh, a lot. Yeah. We missed her dearly when we were in Reno. Yeah, me and Piper were playing for a while. I was there for like 20 minutes, just fucking around with Piper. Fun cat. Yeah, it is a fun cat. One, two, two. All right. Did you say your record was 86? I oh, I had the record at school. Uh, 
I had 99. This is 7, 8, 9, 10. That, that was good. Do we give one for the header? That was Slop, good. Sloppy yeah. as hell. Very nice. Is it easier to go side of the foot, inside the foot, or is it go to do toes like side? Your, like I think your he, bottom soccer. feel. Wow, nice. Sloppy, but All right, ten's the record. Nick, you wanna wanna see if you can one up that? I'll try. Sack it up. Yeah, see, they both go side. Oh, yeah. oh Nick's wow. got control. You could yeah. tell this, this is not. Yeah, the I believe the one hundred now. That's really good. We both had the school record. Oh, I don't have the right shoes both on. Both have a record. God. We did. <laughs> Mine was we did. How do we both have the record? I remember when I had the record, I was crowned the record holder. <laughs> I got 86. I mean, I believe you got more, but I still had the record. This is not going to go well, I feel. <laughs> I fear. Yeah, I can't do that. I don't, I'm going to embarrass myself. It sucks. Like, I get on here and I freeze up. It, out there, I'm like stalling I on saw my Kyle neck. Do 30 they were doing one. I think that seems to be the play. Yeah, that's oh, uh, one. Why didn't you start with your foot <laughs> off the ground? Art, you dropped it onto your foot and it rolled off. A little cheat code. One. <laughs> All right, that was two. two. I would go does knees. It, does I it think. count? Can you go knees? Does it count just dropping it on your foot as one? <laughs> does that count? No, no. There. It's like doing a pull up and jumping up to the bar and counting that as one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one. Two. Put your foot down in between. Tommy, what's what's the matter with you, man? Oh my god. Yeah, you could say that word. You're not like right now. <laughs> you're just dropping it on your foot. Yeah, you're just dropping it praying on Praying that it like ricochets. Stop, <laughs> stop doing it that I way, know. Tommy. You got to try a different method. Leave your foot on the ground and then come meet, no, no, the put foot your, and meet it. Put your foot down every single time. Every time? Yeah. All right. Boom, down, up. Chicago. <laughs> there you go. That was three. Chicago boys. Ah. I know, this is like a fucking... We have a hacky sack room in the new office. I know. I can tell this, but there's a change of pace already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to give it a whirl? You guys are moving quick. I'll do it for yeah, I'm here. pissed that I uh, wasn't here last week for all the hubbub. And all the hubbub. It what was, was the hubbub. crazy. You do? What, were you here? He was Gave, here. Uh, I don't think company. I was he here. He bought the company back. Oh, that hubbub. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was hubbub. People are calling it the greatest business deal of all time. <laughs> All right, I gotta hit a streak now. I feel good. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. One, One, two, three, four, five. He saved it. Six, seven, seven. All right, solid. All right, Nick's ready to just upstage you. The proper record holder, the pride of West Virginia. I relapsed on weed this weekend. Really? I was in Tahoe. It looked too beautiful. I said, "This is unbelievable." Oh wow! Twelve. 13, 14, oh 15, Nick. 16, 17. That was good. You see how much more controlled he is? I yeah. yeah, I think it's a. I think that's going, what you need to do. I think you're do. hitting yours too I hard. Really need I know, I'm getting I too excited. To I gotta again. relax. I think you need to do more controlled, Kyle. Oh, no. Hacky sack's fun. So fun. Either, what else are you guys into? Anything new are you into, Tommy? Um, anything new. I oh, watched. Cincinnati. Cincinnati was cool. I liked uh, Cincinnati. <laughs> I went in very low expectations as you should um they were met a little bit like they exceeded it a little bit uh, i would say skyline chili actually kind of good you had it i've had it it was better than i expected it to yeah be. it's it's you can imagine the taste it's not like repulsive no, the taste i imagined was way worse than the oh okay taste that that i felt that it was yeah i went to the barstool bar on saturday night Woo! Yeah, do you guys have you guys been to the Philly one? No, we're all good. Oh. No, no. We've heard it's amazing. amazing. Everybody says that's, that's right. a lot of people's heard favorites. it's amazing. You guys get do, do is there any sort of special treatment for being a oh god no long time no. barstool? Oh, no. no. did you what did you did what did you do? <laughs> no, I didn't get any. I had to be like I know Shane. I'm I'm friends with Shane, and then that's how they let me in. Not like so I've we don't get any perks for four years. For going to our namesake bar, yeah. if you, you got to let them know ahead of time. Manager, yeah, maybe that'll do it. Mook got more special privilege. Describe Mook's like dude. Uh, Mook is like a made standing. man in Philly. It's very uncomfortable. He like took me Friday morning. He took me to all these stores on like South Street, I think it was called. Mm. And I guess he used to do all of their taxes. <laughs> wow, I guess he was bigger. That does sound I, mafia. Yeah. yeah, he used to do all their taxes. All we went to like four different places, and they're all like they they come up and they're like, "You're a friend of Mook. Mook you're a friend of mine." <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, and then they're like, dude, dude, like dudes looking at me dead in the eyes and be like, if you need anything, you call me. <laughs> what kind Mook? of stores? Call me. If you need a draft, you call me. I'll get you anything you need. 
And yeah, what, like, are we talking like, like shoe stores? Shoe clothing shoe clothing stores? We went to a shoe store. They were all cool stores. We went to a vintage wrestling store, which was awesome. The dude yeah. that worked there was really cool. And then is we went Mook to a powerful. I think in Philly. All yes. we do is shit on him. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. I think he yeah. could have any of us I, killed instantly. Oh, no. so, but that, and you're saying that stems from like his accountant days. That's not comedian barstool or anything. It's. I think it's the accounting days, him being a stand-up, and then him getting success at barstool. I think it's a combination wow, of all like of them. Philly's proudest son. So it was like a, a warm moment. He used to hide that he did stand up from his parents. Yes. Uh, he used to not tell his parents where he was going on the weekends. Oh, I'm going out to Texas with, to visit a friend. Doing that, he never told them. Yeah, and then he made up a name Mook, which isn't his name. No. by any means. And um, he finally told his parents, and they went to his show for the first time. Yeah, on this past s- week. Saturday. His dad. His dad brought the <laughs> strap. Lit up. His dad brought a gun. Yeah, his dad. Brought a gun. <laughs> he accidentally brought a gun. I, like, yeah. He just strapped up. Which is funny because we were with uh, Billy McCusker, who's Matt McCusker's brother, and his dad brought a gun to Philly Helium as well. <laughs> I, I think like Philly and fathers was, are just, yeah. Philly dad's just carrying guns. They're so afraid. Apparently, their their whole mindset is like, I'm going into the city. I'm not not gonna bring my gun. That's crazy. Like I have yeah. to bring my gun. To I this guess city. if I had, <laughs> Did they bring like Uzis out. Like, I, they just, just bring a pistol. Twenty seventh yeah. graders like storm <laughs> Wawa. Yeah, Mook's dad had like the banana clip in. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. So and they're all wearing Mook shirts. <laughs> they all got Mook's face. <laughs> and Your then his dad's just got you. the strap. Uh, yeah, my dad has in uh, Boston. So his, his parents are men and women of God, respectively. Yes. And um, they, 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 they inv- they're involved with the church. And I don't really know. If you, think, lo- yeah. if you Google like Mook, it's just a, a big graphic that says, fuck God. Yeah. <laughs> in quotes. <laughs> his parents try, can you try to Google that. Mook Barstool? Mook Barstool. I think it's like the first image. It's it Mook. Is- it's a quote card saying, fuck God. <laughs> oh, man. And he never even said it. I, I asked Gooch that. to make the graphic. Yeah. Oh, that was you. Yeah, oopsie. Mm. But yeah, his parents were very nice. Oh, okay, so we're good. Yeah, they were all... They were all, all wait a minute, Mook's got the bootleg tees? Bootleg <laughs> 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 the dude's made it. Just a bunch of bootleg tees. <laughs> <Yes, Mook it's laughs> there was not a demand for that. <laughs> Look at that one <laughs> chair. <laughs> no one is... <laughs> <laughs> he must. He I think he has ins with Google too because Jesus the fuck Christ. God is in there. Try googling "fuck God" after Mook. Maybe that's taken down. Is Mook is so is powerful? There stuff to the right. Like, are we too zoomed? Are we in? too zoomed in? Maybe. What the? He fuck? got it taken down because <laughs> merely a week ago it was one of the first results. Mook. It's not a bad idea. Oh man, we got to stop making fun of him, dude. We, there's this place in Philly, Angelo's. I guess it's like the biggest like Philly cheesesteak place. Look how big the graphic is. That's Left a of woman's. center. Oh, of course it's a woman's, <laughs> woman's tea. Let me get the V-neck. Go with the V-neck. I want the Mook V-neck. <laughs> how can we not see a preview? Yeah, are those ones sold out on the side? Yeah, what the <laughs> ones that are grayed out? <laughs> a sweatshirt and the long sleeve tee are sold out. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, what? what is going on, dude? Oh, my God. Yeah, what the... <laughs> they got the hats? No way. Wait, no, we gotta get the Mook face masks. <laughs> this is so funny. How does this happen? How I don't is know. It? He's been holding out on like what AI this generated. Yeah. Like there's a website that you can get a Jeff D. Lowe duvet cover. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way, dude. Wait, wait. No, what go wait. take my credit card. Oh my god. Dude, there's this place in Philly called Angelo's, and I guess it has like the best cheesesteak in Philly. You were just yeah, saying they're that. famous. Yeah, and it uh, and they, like you, if you you have to have like a res- like you can't go, you can't just go. You have to have like you have to call before. But apparently the line is so busy that you have to call like rapid fire, like have multiple people calling just to get a cheesesteak. And some dude was like. You go there, just call me in advance. I'll get you guys set up. We'll put you up in the apartment upstairs and we'll have like a whole spread. The apartment guys, upstairs. Because there's no indoor seating. So there's like, the, you guys can just go to the apartment upstairs and we'll have like a spread for you guys. Did you do it? Oh my God. No. But, wow. but uh, it was just like, I don't, dude, where are you getting all these connections? Oh, it was Mook. That, it was that, just that, Mook. That, that, that was another Mook geez. connection. Why did Mook ever leave the city of Philadelphia? I don't know. Yeah, he should stay there. It's like it's a king. It's what everyone was saying. Everyone was like, dude, why are you leaving <laughs> Philly? <laughs> Jeff D. Lowe, dude. Oh my God. What can we get these on? Phone case. I mean, there's like a zero percent chance these <laughs> no, wait, the ever arrive. Scroll up just the image. Yeah, oh my god, bed sheets. There's bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, uh, we no, there's a shower curtain. There's a shower I'm curtain. Buying I'm buying it. I would 
match my body to his. The <laughs> Jeff D. Low sheets yeah. stay on during sex. Babe. Oh my god, you can theme your room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at it folded down, no head. Uh,